What's up guys, my name is Andrew Suarez and today we're going to be talking about what is Conky. Now Conky is a kind of widget manager, widget, it makes widgets and it allows you to display very useful information on your desktop. So you can see here I have this widget is called Conky-EOS and I'll have the link in the description below if I can find it again. And with this displays here you can see we have processor, mem processor memory. Uh, processing processor slash memory so here you can see that we have the U CPU usage um, different things like that um, this I actually edited and I will show editing later how to edit this to make the text different color to go with your background so you have a black background you want white or if you have a white background you want black text you can switch that up and we have a second widget here we have the uh, a clock widget which I believe is called Co Gotham something else and uh, this widget here I'll show us the time the date what day I'm recording this <laughs> uh, the RAM and the also the CPU and some of these widgets are redundant but they look really really cool and very futuristic now how do we install it? So the easiest way to install Conky is, at least in Arch Linux is, and there will be other alternatives through your distro, and we'll go through it right here, which will be sudo pacman dash s Conky. I can spell Conky. And then type your password, and then you'll be prompted to install. I'm not going to reinstall because that will probably break it by my luck. Um, another thing that is very, very useful to install is Conky Manager. And the Conky Manager, I'll have that, in, I'll have the AUR link in the uh, description below. So we'll do Yoru Conky dash manager. And that will be a pull up right here. So this is a GUI for managing Conky. And this GUI is, I got to say, it's fantastic. Um, it is one of the best to be able to manage Conky and in, in, in doing different things with the widgets. Um, it's difficult before, without a GUI. You have to do a lot of things using either um, just b simple text uh, scripting and different like that. But for ease of use, I prefer to use Conky Manager. I did use Conky before in my other Linux distributions. I, I installed my, on my own before I was recording YouTube videos. So I did have a little bit of play around with Conky, but not as much as I have now. And I'm happy I got back into it because it's really fun to play around with. With and the widgets make your desktop look amazing. So the next question would be how to use Conky Manager. Now Conky Manager allows a lot of different functionality. Conky Manager allows you to add your own custom widgets. So here I'll even pull up another way to do that. Well, the the only way to do that, for, at least for my knowledge, probably uh, the Conky Manager has its own way to do add your own custom widgets through this. But through here, when you go in your home directory, once you've installed Conky and the Conky Manager, you'll get a, another hidden folder called .conky. And in here will be all these app, these little applets. And through here, you can put more in. So you can download some from the internet. So I have downloaded right here Conky-EOS, and that changes a lot of things up. That makes this one. So that makes this look like the way it is. And I believe it pulls a lot of the um, actual um, data and how this looks from Conky itself because I was looking through the folder itself and I haven't been able to find anything and this is another folder I added here that I don't remember about but um, it lets you do the different things and there's even themes there's entire desktop themes you can play around with I have Conky there's one that's called Conky Green Apple desktop in which you can play around with that as well now another thing I mentioned before was editing the um, actual widget apple whatever you want to call it to suit your background or how your desktop is themed so for example this widget right here was not the color and the font size that I properly needed so right here we have a little pencil application and I hope I'm actually not blocking anything no I am not um, so this I use Visual Studio Code for this and I highly recommend that you get Visual Studio Code for I, I'd have to say I gotta give Microsoft prompts Visual Studio Code I think is one of the best IDEs or uh, text editors or whatever editors um, on Linux that I've ever used because um, it has auto saving abilities where the minute I edit something it auto saves immediately and through Conky's ability to see it edit and change and update accordingly so for example for um, the color the font the font color right here I set it to F I'll, I'll, let me actually make this a little bit bigger so you can see and if I delete the color it automatically changes and I can change it to black as so and that will change it to black. Only certain of the colors will change to black, and others will stay the same on the color spectrum. And F F F F F will uh, put it back to white. Uh, the next thing that I had to change was the font size. For some reason, when uh, this app applet was installed, it was a very small font. It was 19, and you can see here I actually kind of messed up the font. So we'll actually go and find where I messed up. So we'll type in CU CPU two, and we'll find CPU two, and let's see here. 
uh, CPU 2. There's multiple, I think. So right here, you can see CPU 2. I actually did find it. And uh, CPU, oh, that's why it's weird. Um, no, actually not. Uh, so different things you could change around. You can change around this. And I think we just experienced a crash. This happens sometimes. I think it only happens when I actually edit CPU 2 on that list. It's a very weird thing. But when the applet doesn't restart come or come back, I just go click it again, and it will eventually restart the applet. Sometimes you get a crash. The live editing, I believe it's part of, it's part of Visual Studio when I, it has, I have turned on auto saving. But yeah to enable autosave, but it's also part of Conky to see edits and be able to process them immediately um, and automatically change them. So I do recommend using uh, Visual Studio Code for anything you want to be able to immediately autosave and see the changes. Very, very helpful for that. And there's a lot of different um, syntax in this that you can look through. And you can change a lot of things around. You can change the color. The um, I can believe you could change the background image, make it from being, it's, it, right now it's transparent. You probably could put your own background image or make it slightly untransparent where it has like a gray tint to it you could do a lot of things with this um this syntax and be able in the ability to edit it and it's a really good feature to be able to do that so you can get really down in the nitty-gritty of what your desktop looks like feels and how your widgets applets are doing and what they're actually looking like another thing I want to cover is moving an applet applets um, when they are installed or widgets whatever they're called I, well, I'll call them widgets I keep switching back and forth and it's weird um, widgets when you enable a widget and I'll even enable a random one here it will pop up in a random location on the desktop and not only do you, do you not not want where did that one go probably behind one of the others um sometimes you'll get that as well you can't find it it's probably behind another one any other applet that's in the list won't uh stay if it, if it is enabled and it's behind it will go it will disappear you can't see it so you have to play around with them to show you so say we enable let's see if that pops up yeah That'll pop up, and it's kind of covering this because I think, uh, oh, that's a weird UI glitch. So here, we'll hit this little settings application, and you can see where it's being told to go. So we'll say go to uh, middle, middle, and we'll hit apply. So that'll go over there, and now we can change the vertical gap and horizontal gap. So if I lower this a little bit, it should move to the left. Oh, no, opposite. Sometimes it's weird, depending on where the applet was originally placed and depending on different things. It, it kind of weird. You have to finagle it around to get it to where you want. So there, that's vertical, and we'll do some vertical, and uh, vertical will bring it up. So now that's basically how you can do it. And you can even change the time from uh, 24. You can put it to set it to 24 hours, so now it's set up to military time, or back to 12 hours. And some of them have network interfaces to show you if you're connected to Wi-Fi. Um, since I'm using um, Network Manager instead of uh, I don't have a wireless card, it's not really useful. And sometimes you can uh, hear this. Uh, actually, this did actually have a Network Manager involved here in one of the lists, and I removed it. That's another thing you can do when editing it. You can actually remove the ones you want. Say I don't want the weather. I can go into it and edit the weather out where I see weather involved. I just erase it, and it will go away. Um, the syntax and how it's edited and, and its, its simplicity is very easy to understand for any skill level. So that's why I think Conky is really, really good for any skill level and any beginner in Linux to mess around with and make your desktop beautiful. So the next thing would be um, going a little bit more in depth on how to install widgets. So here you can see, let's see what this does. This brings us to, okay, so I, um, Okay, so right here, this little folder app, this little open theme folder will bring you to the theme folder. And I believe this is actually a theme. So let me really quickly, we'll actually do this together, and I'll make it live. We'll make it happen live. We'll type in uh, Conky theme. And a lot of these um, are usually on, um, let's see, uh, let's see, Divian Art. Um, and we'll pick one of these real quick, and we'll uh, download it. So we'll pick this one. And we should be able to. I don't know. I do not like this. We're interact with the ads. You earn your free download. I don't like that. What if this is a virus? But hence, that's why we're on Linux to avoid viruses. Um, so we'll throw this in here, and we'll pop that in there, and we will x. Um, we will un uh, unzip it. Okay. Dude, great. And this was called Har Har Manhattan. And now we should be able to have a refresh. Boom. Now we have these, a lot of these. Wow, did not expect that to load that many. That's crazy. Okay, so now we can look around and see the different applets this brought into the, into the mix. So we have Celsius, we have Fahrenheit, we have a bunch of different applications. So Fahrenheit, there we go, beautiful. Really, really nice. I think that Conky is amazing in the ability it gives you to have different things to do. It's it's it, it's fantastic, and you just being able to go online. You look at a uh, um, a theme here that looks really really cool, and um, you can add it immediately, and you can have something that looks amazing. 
So that's going to be it for this video. What do you think about Conky? I think Conky is a fantastic application that lets you make your desktop look amazing and gives it a whole nother level of interactivity, being able to show you RAM usage, show if a program is still on the background. So like say if I'm playing Rust, which you can see uh, somewhere around here, I have the uh, Rust application installed from Steam. Say if I'm playing Rust and I exit and it doesn't fully exit properly, I can go down here and look at the process and say that Rust is still running. Go to HTOM and remove it and shut it off. So this thing is very helpful. It gives you the ability of seeing processes, seeing a lot of different things that just having nothing on your desktop wouldn't show. So as always, my name's Andy Suarez. Please rate, like, and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next video.